Hello guys, this is not the Capybara and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be we're finally back after being gone for about 2 weeks. I did go for a holiday and a bit of those 2 weeks, but I didn't get to say Merry Christmas to you guys because I was away. So yeah, so Merry Christmas. I hope you enjoyed your Christmas with your families. With all your families and you had a good time. So yeah. So this is going to be a habitat for the nine banded armadillo that you probably you probably already know that I'm building for. So this their habitat is the habitat is quite lush lush and um um quite small but their welfare is surprisingly quite good. I might be posting um another video later um either tomorrow or later today so in New Zealand it's New Year's tomorrow but today it's New Year's Eve so yeah <laughs> so now you might be wondering what that habitat is where I went to grab that those stalagmite pieces. Um, uh, that was a habitat that I built, a failure habitat. Failure! Failure habitat. It was, I thought it would be good, but I didn't post a video of it because it didn't turn out being good. So, yeah. I may, I, I'm probably gonna be posting tomorrow, um, a sloth bear habitat preview, cause right now while I'm doing this voiceover, I'm still working on the sloth bear habitat. So, here's some hints, it, I did get it off zoo chat, and, um, it's kinda like a bamboo theme, so yeah, I use, um, here's a, so I'm so here's just a little thing to tell you. I use the Australia wood. I don't know why, but it looks kind of like bamboo because the other wood, because the bamboo, the actual bamboo, um, ba the actual bamboo like wood in the game doesn't look too. Well, it looks okay, but it's not that good. It looks all square. And I'm too lazy to just keep on placing bits of bamboo to make a custom bamboo fence. But, yeah. So, I hope you're looking forward to that habitat. So, yeah. Now, as you can see, I'm just adding a bunch of plants everywhere. <laughs> I tried to build like those long bits of grass like those blue stem grasses and stuff the like long ones in the corners where it's hard to chop the grass so I wanted to make it look like that just like the Saiga habitat so yeah I like to like like I said in the Saiga habitat video, I like to like bud, put big clumps of um, uh, grass and then I make it go smaller and smaller, skinnier and skinnier, and then when it goes skinny, it will attach to another skinny bit of clump of grass and then join back into a big thing. So yeah. I'm gonna I'm not gonna be doing um a video of the sloth bear habitat of building it instead I've thought of 
doing previews like where you build the habitat and then you like post a video of you touring it so yeah so I might be doing previews more um I might be doing more previews because the one that I'm gonna post either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow or today definitely not today but either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow so yeah <sighs> so I'm so as I said I'm probably gonna take a little break from a tiny 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 break off um speed building and I'll probably move on to a tiny bit of previewing if you didn't hear what previewing is a few minutes ago previewing is basically uh previewing is basically building a habitat off camera and then um taking a tour of it after t making a video of you touring it so yeah i made a little rock centerpiece in the middle What's wrong with me and these with these center pieces? I always put center pieces like it. Remember, in the Tarkin Island, I put a like the mountain was a center piece because it was center piece because it was in the middle. So yeah. And I put the center piece too. I don't really have any inspiration. I just thought in my head, what would a quokka habitat look like? That's what I thought, but... So, originally I was building for the quokka, but then I wanted a more grasslands theme. So I decided instead of the quokka to do um, nine banded armadillo because they're small and easy to build for. With the ferns I like tilting them a bit to the sides. I got that from Caesar Creates because he like tilt, he gets silver ferns and then like he tilts them in angles so it looks like they're like you know, like, fallen, like, you know, like, bended to the side a bit, like, fallen to the side, but not, like, fallen over, like, leaning to the side. So, yeah, I, I... I, the zoo is, um, most of the animals are grasslands animals. Oh, and see that habitat next to this, um, habitat that I'm building right now. That's a cheetah habitat. I did not post it because, well, it looks good, but the video was too long it, it was an hour wait no that that was only like 40 minutes but i'm going here's a hint of something i'm i'm planning to post a video of starting my local zoo uh recreation this is going to be our first recreation of a zoo so yeah my so i'm doing my local zoo because i just want to because that's kind of the only zoo i've been to but um in the summer of 20 in i think winter or summer i'm pretty sure winter though because it's april of 2024 I'm going to sit Taronga Zoo, I think, and um, 
Singapore Zoo, maybe Singapore Zoo, but also Perth Zoo, and also I'm going to Wellington Zoo to, um, you know, uh, uh, clo uh, what's it called again? Uh, close encounter with the capybaras. I'm looking forward to that. You get to touch them, I'm pretty sure. So I'm excited to touch my beloved favorite animal for the first time. So yeah. <sighs> now I'm just, now I'm adding the, now I just added the barriers and I'm doing stuff like putting in their enrichment and what they like. So I put a termite mound because they like it. So yeah. Um I don't really like having the water taps, but I don't want my animals to die, so I still add the water taps anyways. But even though the water taps kind of ruin the look only for like sea lion habitats it doesn't ruin the look but yeah it's getting to the end of the video so i hope you enjoyed bye if you did like and subscribe